Hello dear friends of bus systems! In many applications it is necessary to control different sensors and actuators via different bus systems. Using the example of the PN CanLink, we show you how you can connect devices to the CAN bus of RS7500 controller. With the device Sematic PN CanLink, you can connect your controller to the CAN or CAN Open field bus and communicate with up to 126 CAN nodes. In the following we want to read out the temperature of a can open climate sensor. We start in the network view of TIA portal and use a CPU S7500 as controller. The hardware support package of the Sematic PN CAN link can be downloaded free of charge from Siemens Industry Online Support and is already installed here. We open the hardware catalog and find this PN CAN link under Network Components Gateways. Double click to insert it into the network view. The PN CAN link is a Profinet device and must be assigned to a controller. We click on Not Assigned and select the CPU S7500. The Profinet connection is then created. Double clicking on the PN CAN link takes us to its device view. Click again to open the properties. Here we can choose between the operation modes CAN Open Manager or Slave or CAN Transparent. We define the PN CAN link as CAN Open Manager. The can open manager entry is created in the device view. We mark it and open the properties. Under communication, we can define the node ID of the PN CAN link and the transition rate of the CAN bus. To insert the climate sensor as a slave, open the folder CAN open node in the hardware catalog and double click on the CAN open node universal. The nodes are created in the device view and we import the EDS file of the climate sensor. You can get these from the manufacturer of the component. The information of the node becomes visible. We open the communication entry and enter the parameterized node ID of the climate sensor. Since the climate sensor only sends data, we open the entry Transmit Process Data Objects, short PDO. Here we open the Transmit PDO definition. There are two PDOs available. We select the first one and display the assignment table of the object dictionary entries used, short ODs. It is the correct PDO with the measured temperature of the climate sensor. We remember the PDO number, the communication object identifier, short COV ID, and the arrangement of the data types. To receive the PDO of the climate sensor, we need a receive data OD on the PN CanLink site. We find this in the hardware catalog under the folder CAN Process Data and Edit. The Receive Object Dictionary is entered in the CAN Open Manager. We model the object dictionary entries of the selected process data object accordingly. We now select the CAN Open Manager in the Device Overview and open the definition of the received data object. We select the noted PDO number and click on the Define PDO button. The process data object is created and we enter the COB ID. We select the object dictionary entries from the list of usable ones. The object dictionary entries used are listed in the assignment table. Cyclic data exchange between the PN CAN link and the CPU S7500 takes place via Profinet through the process image of the inputs and outputs. The input and output addresses can be found in the device overview of the CAN Open Manager. We open the PLC variables of the controller and find the generated input and output variables of the PN CAN link. We we'll copy these. We create a watch table and insert the PLC variables. Now we transfer our project to the CPU S7500. And compile the project. We set the CPU to run mode and finish the download. Then we establish an online connection to the controller. The CPU S7500 reports a fault because it cannot find the PN CAN link. We open the folder of the configured decentralized periphery and find the PN CAN link under the Profinet I.O. system. 
we copy his name. We open our used network card under online access and update the available devices. We identify the PN CAN link and select online and diagnostics. Now we are connected online to the PN CAN link and click on assign profinet name. We paste the copied name and assign the profinet name to the PN CAN link. This could also be done in the network view. After the fault has disappeared, we open the watch table again and click on the watch all icon. No data from the climate sensor is received yet, as the control byte of the PN CAN link must have the value of 5. This control byte consists of several bits. The control bit 0, which has to be true, the reset bit 1, which has to be false, and bit 2, which has to be true. The meaning of the bits is described more in detail in the manual. We enter the control value and transfer it. The temperature of the can open climate sensor is now displayed in the first receive object directory with a digital position and is 26.3 degrees Celsius. When it heats up, we see that the temperature rises. The PN CAN link also supports SDO communication on the can open site. A good example can be found in the Siemens Industry Online support. Furthermore, there's also an example for the can open slave. Now you have seen how you can connect devices to the S7500 CAN bus. Good luck coupling your external bus systems. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.